I see on your board, you finish explaining the resistor, how to get a total resistance, and now you want to explain to the class how to get your total current. Please, could you do that for us? Okay. After you got the torus in here, the total current in here, oh, total current in here, and total resistance in here. Using your Ohm's law. Yes, we use the Ohm's law for that. And after that, we start in here. We just transfer through this point. We have 24 volts, 10 ohms, and 2.4 amps. This is total current in the circuit. And after that, we start in here. You want to find all the current for all the resistors. Exactly. Okay. So you have 24 in here. Okay. And now we know we have 2.4 amps, the total in here. Mm -hmm. If it, this is the begin for the circuit, the same one that is in now is in almost in series, is from the begin through the circuit. If you have 2.4 amps in here, we're going to have 2.4 amps in here mm -hmm. and 2.4 amps in here. Because your Ohm's law tells you that in a series, the uh, current is the same in a series. Exactly. Okay. And if you have 2.4 in here, you've got to divide uh, 2.4 times 3 is going to be 7.2 volts. Mm -hmm. and that way you know the voltage in that portion of the circuit. Mm -hmm. The same thing we did with that. 2.4 times 2 is mm -hmm. going to be 4.8 volts. Yes. If you put these two together, it's going to be 7.2 and 4.8 is going to be 12 volts. Mm -hmm. If you subtract from 24, and that portion of the circuit, we're going to have 20, 12 volts too. Okay, so now we know for C, 12 volts. Yeah, yeah for C, we're going to have 12 volts. And we have in here 10 divided by 12 volts, we're going to have 1.2 ohms. Okay, the 12 volt divided by the 10. That will give exactly. you your, remember, your ohms law. Yeah. Okay. That's what we have in here. Okay, E over R. Okay. And we're going to have 1.2 ohms. And after that, we know the voltage in the circuit in here, and you know the amps, the current in the circuit. If the current in the circuit in here is like the total current in here, if we have this in here, we're going to have in here too. 1.2A, 1.2A. Okay, because now you're using your kitsch off loss that says at the node, the two currents equals the total current. Exactly. Okay. 1.2 plus 1.2 give you your 2.4. Yeah, and the okay. current is going to be the same in here and mm -hmm. here because it's all is in series this portion now. Yeah. This and this one. And uh, in this case, we divide four volts by four. Oh, one, one, we multiply one point two by four. We're going to have four four point eight, and one point two times two point four, or oh, times two, going to be two point four mm -hmm. volts. Now you know the voltage in here and in here. If you put this two together, it's going to be 7.2. And 7.2 minus 12 is going to be 4.8 volts in mm -hmm. this portion. Yeah. Okay. And you were given your ohm, so now you can get your amps over there. Exactly. Okay. And 6 divided 4.2 is going to be 0 0.8 amps. Okay, that's your 4.8 divided by 6. Exactly. Uh, the formula, okay, Ohm's law. Uh -huh. But for this portion here, we need to calculate this portion first, like we did in here. Okay, because, because it is in series. Yeah, because it is okay. in series, and you're going to have this in parallel. It's going to be the same voltage, 4.8, but mm -hmm. we're going to divide this mm -hmm. between the three ones. Okay. And that, in that case, we're going to have the 12 volts in here. Mm -hmm. Is the total resistance? Oh, the 12 ohms, okay. Yeah, 12 ohms. Okay. Is the total resistance in here? Mm -hmm. And we... We're gonna... You divide it by your... Uh, we're gonna divide 4.8 by 12, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have 0 0.4 <coughs> ohms. Because we have 4.8 volts. Mm -hmm. 
divide by 12. Ohms are going to have okay. 0.4 amps. And that is in series? Yes. Okay, so that gives you your 0.4 amps. So this is yes. 0.4 for all. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be the amps. It's going to be in series, going to be the same for all. For mm -hmm. this one, this one, and this one. And 2 ohms mm -hmm. divide by 0 0.4, going to be 0 0.8 volts in here. And 4, uh, four ohms. Uh, 4 times 0.4 amps times 2 ohms will give you your 0 0.8 volts. Okay. 0 0.8 volts. And then the same and thing. So the same thing in here. Mm -hmm. 0 0.4 times 4 ohms going to be 1.6 volts. Yes. The same thing in here. 0.4 okay. times 6 is going to be 2.4 volts. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you put these together, you're going to have in here, and the voltage, exactly 4.8 volts. Okay, so that... These yeah. together, okay. That confirm this in parallel after you have the total resistance, well, confirm they have the same voltage between both. Thank you so much. So now from here we know the arms for every uh, resistance point the ohms for every resistance and the volt. And then yes. now you have your result out here displayed. Thank you so much. So <laughs> hope everybody has gotten the solution Thank to you. this problem. Thank you. I appreciate this, Mario. Say bye to your viewers. Yeah. Thank you so much.